Let's go next to Ricky from Charlotte. Ricky, you're on the air. Hey, David, I'm driving through the country. So if you lose me with my bad connection, if you just expand on the topic. But I just wanted to ask you, uh, how dangerous do you think it is that it seems like the ideas of free speech and like freedom in general are becoming branded as like a right wing, like Republican uh, idea? And what can the left do to sort of, um, you know, to, to sort of win some of that back? This is a major problem for the left. So I've talked before about how the right has claimed for themselves a monopoly on patriotism. They've claimed for themselves a monopoly on free speech. They've claimed for themselves a monopoly on being good at business. And none of these things are true. I, I won't waste your time. You already know that they're not true. You're asking about what can be done and the, the effect of it. Uh, I just think on the in general, my view is hammering people with facts doesn't really change minds. But on this issue, we have to keep hammering with facts. They are trying to ban the books, the book bans that are at a 20 year high. It's Republicans that are doing it. Free speech. They talk about free speech all the time, but they are the ones actually limiting the speech of teachers, of protesters, et cetera, et cetera. I, I think there just needs to be an on on message coordination on this that they claim this stuff and it's not true. They say they're better for the economy. Stocks do better with Democratic presidents. Unemployment is lower. Job creation is higher. Inflation is lower. We, we just we need to all know the truth and we've got to repeat it, repeat it, repeat it. That I've kind of noticed about that is it seems to me like a lot of the um, political commentators on the right are just more hackish in like the way that uh, they'll they'll cover things. And yes. They, they, like they, they have no problems in like, you know, defending like hypocrisy with like uh, politicians and leaders on their sides if it means they can keep their people in power. But it seems to me like the left, especially when you go to like now what we call like the dumb, dumb left, like the Jimmy Doors, Glenn Greenwald, and, like all those losers, like they, they like they only care about like the inconsistencies on the left. And like they're so like overly purist about it. And so I feel like that makes it like harder as well. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Ab and, you know, there's a real question as to whether those people really are on the left or are they just reactionaries at this point? But very well said, Ricky. Yeah, no. OK, I appreciate it, David. Uh, thank you. All right. Thank you. There is Ricky from Charlotte. We will take a very quick break. If you're holding on to talk to me and you don't mind, keep holding because we're going right back to the phones in a moment. 